Welcome. I'm Mistress Tess. Those of you who know me very well will know I've got a particular love in my life. <laughs> and that is for Christian Louboutin heels. I have many, many beautiful heels in my collection. But I thought I'd use my YouTube channel to start to go through some of my newer acquisitions and some of my old favourites. Now, uh, I'm going to treat this like an unboxing. I'm going to talk you through the process of what it would be like to receive. I have this very nice parcel wrap type box on your lap. <sighs> now, Christian Louboutin are based in Paris. I've just had the very nice pleasure of visiting their flagship store only last weekend on a trip to Paris with a friend. And they all come with these very unique signature boxes. Now inside here is the Gen Love Alta in patent black. It's a 150mm heel, which is my ideal height. I do adore some of the smaller sized, like 100, 120 mil shoes. 150 is where I'm really, really fine. It's just the top end of attractive. It's just something to elongate the leg. Now, I love that they include here, do love your red soles. Due to the delicate nature of our red soles, we ask that the shoes be tried on carpeted floor. So, giving you a little warning there as to the fact the soles are very delicate. The standard replacement heel tips, the signature red bag, and now the unwrapping. I haven't even looked at these yet. This is completely. Look at that. Very high platform, great instep, ankle strap. And what I love most about these when I saw them online is what they call the fetish heel. Can you see how it doesn't go straight down but it curls inwards slightly? Beautiful. It's just the height, it does something for me. I just adore it. And platform's always more comfortable to wear but still sexy. Open toe and lots of straps. So let's remove the packaging from this. Oh, even just the sounds. <laughs> it's like the squeaky, squeaky patent and then the crisp tissue paper. Like a child at Christmas. Let's take it all away. Have a look at these heels. For the ornamental value that they have first. Look at these. Beautiful. Beautiful babies. I just adore so many things about this pair. Now, Gen Love did a range without the platform and with a very small platform. This is the highest platform that they do. As I said, it's a 150 mil. I love the stiletto, the shape, the height, the size. I adore the peep toe because I have very nice toes and I always have them very nicely manicured or pedicured and I want to be able to see those and I also adore the ankle strap and what something that wasn't immediately obvious about these until you slip them on is they only have one side can you see that and the other side the side of the instep the side of the arch of the foot is exposed it's very sexy so let's give these a try with my outfit I have on today, a combination of latex and leather. It should go very nicely. Let me put this to one side. Mm. Are you ready for me to slip these on? Going to look very, very nice. Mm. I'm already loving them. Look, look at that. Mm. That, that patent black shine against my very bright red nail polish is just something to be treasured really, it's, it's very nice. 
Mm. And you see what I meant about the open toe, so open side here with no panel on this side, leaving an exposed arch. Let's get the other one on. Let's reunite them in their true glory and discuss a little bit more about the signature red soles. It's just one of the major appeals of mine. One of the things that first lured me in was the lovely red bottoms. I just love how you can see it all the way up to the stiletto top. But aren't they glorious? I love the height, the patent material. Mm, lovely. And they already feel, for a very sexy shoe, they already feel very comfortable. I feel like I could walk a thousand miles in them. They're very, very... Very nice. Mm. Yes. They'd suit for several hours wear, I think. I, I don't wouldn't consider these more of a dinner shoe or a short-term photo type. You know, like for a photo shoe type shoe. I definitely would wear these for a longer period of time. They're very attractive. They would go with dresses, or as you can see, they're going quite well with my leggings. So they would be a very nice addition to a wardrobe for multi-purpose of use. And what are the, one of the things I adore about patent is it often catches the different lights and when you're in different venues. Or if you are wanting to clean them, they are wiped clean, which makes it considerably easier if you're going to pick up dust and dirt on them if you're anywhere. Not that you drag such an expensive pair of shoes to anywhere that requires a lot of dirt, but uh, well, that they can get filthy in. But still, I think I would rate these ones a very nice 9 out of 10. That's what I'd give these. A nice shoe rating of 9 out of 10. Comfortable arches, high platforms, skinny stiletto, nice shape, open toe. I guess the only thing for me that wouldn't make it a complete 10 is I think they would have been nice as a complete sandal or even having a slightly wider back on. Skinny arch but a wider back. But I really like those. They're probably one of my favourites that I've acquired for a while. Mm. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.